Hi, my name is Daryl Hofflin. I'm Sheboygan City Administrator. Today I will present the results of the 2019 Community Survey. The request for citizen input for this annual Community Survey is a result of the City's focus area in its strategic plan for enhanced communication. The 2019 Community Survey was conducted early due to the City's eligibility for a $4,000 ARP grant to assist the City in marketing this survey. The 2019 Community Survey was more comprehensive in nature. Surveys that will be conducted in the future, 2020 and 21, will be more condensed with a reduced number of questions. I want to extend my appreciation to the Sheboygan for All Task Force, which spent considerable time in reviewing survey questions. I look forward to the task force continued work and effort in utilizing information received from this survey. Although the survey was translated into Spanish, uh, the city received only a limited number of Spanish-based survey results, 29. This is consistent with the survey's response that 99% of the survey respondents indicated that they prefer English as the language for citizen, for citizen communication. The city received 1,277 survey results, an increase of 44% since the inaugural survey in 2016, where 680 respondents uh, perform the survey. City staff and members of the Sheboygan for All Task Force successfully marketed the 2019 survey. This fall, or last fall, Acuity and Sheboygan Area School District cooperated with the city to promote the survey to their employees, which were greatly appreciated. Paper copies were also available at the Sheboygan Senior Activity Center as well as the Mead Public Library. This was to encourage residents that don't have access to a computer to participate. Typical survey participants for the English-based survey, the demographics changed slightly. In the past, it was a 52-year-old was the average age. Uh, this year, the average age was 45. For the Spanish-based survey, the average age was 38. In response to questions, what best describes your opinion of the general quality of life in the city of Sheboygan, 87% identified the following survey responses, excellent, very good, or good. This is a 13% increase over survey results in 2016, 17, as well as 18. In response to the question, what, what direction is the city headed? 78% responded improving or steady. This is 11% improvement over the 2017, and in fact a 21% increase over the 2018 survey results. A question, which is a standard question for many communities to obtain citizens' perceptions of how safe their community is, the, the, the comprehensive annual survey asked two questions. How safe do you feel walking alone at, during the day? And how safe do you feel walking alone at night? Sheboyganites felt very safe during the day. 94% responded as excellent or very good. 69% felt very safe or safe at night. Those who responded unsafe dropped 50% since the inaugural survey in 2016. In response to the question, how do you think the city is doing in overall performance? 73% indicated excellent or good. 11% increase from 2018 in response with similar responses of excellent or good. In response to a question, how is the city doing in focusing on priorities that matter most to its citizens? 50% of participants responded with an excellent or good rating. This is an increase of 16% since 2016. In response to the question, how is the city doing in delivering services efficiently? 65% of the participants responded with, again with an excellent or good rating. This is an 8% increase since 2016. 
Another question, in response to how is the city doing in managing the taxpayers' money, 54% selected excellent or good, up 46% from last year's survey. In response to the question, how is the city doing in keeping residents informed, 63% chose excellent or good, up 10% from last year's survey. Overall, ratings for the city have increased significantly since 2016. In fact, a tie for services which had the most significant increase in excellent or good ratings are zoning or land use and support for the arts, a 25% increase since 2016. The next is transit services, which rating has increased 23% over the past three years. Excellent or good rating currently stands at 78%. Signific significant increases in excellent and good responses also saw a significant increase for overall city administration, support for the neighborhoods, and various public work services. Excellent or good responses since 2016, the city also saw a significant increase for library services, which overall rating is 93%. Street maintenance, 12%, and emergency medical services, 11% increase. Both fire services and police services have very high ratings of excellent or good. Fire service stands at 94%. Police services stands at 88%. Both have experienced a 10% improvement in overall ratings. For attracting and keeping businesses, city perceived the city as less than successful with a 44% rating of excellent or good, but a 7% increase since 2016. The top rated city departments for 2019 community survey, it's a tie. Mead Public Library, Fire Department, coming in number three, the Police Department, four, Senior Activity Center, and five, the Water Utility. City departments that shown a significant increase in excellent or good ratings since 2016 include Shoreland Metro, Common Council, and Property Assessment. Shoreline Metro comes in at an 83% excellent or good response. Other departments, re reflecting, other departments that received a substantial increase in excellent or good ratings since 2016 include the Finance Department, Human Resource Department, and at 91%, an overall excellent or good rating, an 8% increase since 2016. Other ratings, an 8% increase in the public works rating of excellent or good, 6% increase by the fire department, which stands at 93% overall, and municipal court, a 6% increase. Where do city residents receive their information? 2019, for the first year, the city's website is rated as a top source for city information. Sheboygan Press previously held that position in the 2016, 17, and 18 as a top source. Sheboygan Sun has always been in the top five list of, for communication sources, and the city's Facebook has appeared for the first time in the top five list of information sources. Another question that was asked on the survey is, how to fund rising costs of providing services? The highest choice selected was, use a combination of increased property taxes, user fees, and charges, which stands at 48% of the overall respondents. The city also asked, what are the most important reasons why you call Sheboygan home? The number one answer was proximity to family and friends. Second answer, highest answer was proximity to employment. And the last is proximity to Lake Michigan. The city also asked open-ended questions on 
please provide us with your suggestions for the 2019 and 2020 projects or initiatives. The attached slide is a word cloud with the larger the font, the higher the frequency that this was part of the answer. Street repair, fixed streets, repair roads, fixed roads were all, in essence, the number one response. The city also asked another open-ended question about city government and related services or projects. The, again, using a word cloud with the larger font, meaning the higher response rate, roads and streets, comments about neighborhoods, comments about housing were the highest rated responses. It's, I'm pleased to note that a good job was a frequently identified response. Also, none was a frequent identified comment. For the results of the 2019 survey, both the city's management team and the Common Council will use this information to provide support for reviewing its strategic plans. The six focus areas of the strategic plan are quality of life, infrastructure and public facilities, economic development, neighborhood revitalization, governing and fiscal management, and communication. A complete list of the survey responses are available on the city's website. The next anticipated survey will occur in February or March of 2020. As part of offering the survey this year, the city provided uh, an incentive of a $100 Sheboygan Area Chamber of Commerce gift card. Uh, Tracy Gosdick Schmidt was the winner of that $100 gift certificate. Uh, her comment that she provided the city was, I just love the city. I wish that more of our fellow residents would recognize its potential and embrace all that it has to offer. As a new resident of only a year and a half, my neighborhood and my city as a whole has proven to exceed my expectations. Thanks again, Tracy, for those comments. Again, I appreciate you listening to today's uh, survey presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me either through an email or through a phone call. Thanks again for taking time to learn more about the survey.